everyone needs more positive energy so if you just take 30 seconds 30 seconds close your eyes take a deep breath in two deep breaths, breaths in and breaths out and just count your blessings whatever it is in that moment Hello, and thank you for joining me here on Hope to Recharge podcast, the podcast that's designed to break the stigma around mental health and to create some hope and inspiration and give some practical tips to those that are struggling with mental health, whether it's from personal stories to break the stigma or some advice from professionals in the mental health community. Whether you are struggling with mental health on your own or you know a loved one that is struggling, we are here to support you and to create a community so you you know you are not alone. The road to recovery can be difficult and challenging. At Hope to Recharge, we believe that in mental health, together is always better. I'm your host, Matana. Thank you for joining me here today. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp.com, the online platform for therapy. Are you thinking of starting therapy or are you in need of a new therapist? Go to BetterHelp.com and find the therapist that meets your need. You can access them from your phone, from your tablet, from your computer. No matter where you are in the world, no matter what time of day, you can find your therapist that fits your need. BetterHelp is giving us 10% off the first month. They are so affordable. Go check them out. BetterHelp.com forward slash host. Hope to recharge. That's betterhelp.com forward slash hope to recharge. Gift yourself therapy. Go get yourself wellness. Hello, everyone. I hope you are all doing okay. It's Attitude of Gratitude Thursday. Yes, I am a little bit depleted. I am not as strong as usual, but I must say that my gratitude practices that I am trying to keep up with, with all the kids home, is really saving the day. Really, really, really my first aid kit. Whenever I feel depleted, I run into a quick meditation, even if it's a 30 second meditation that I close my eyes. I do a five breathing in and out practice and then I start listing what I'm grateful for and my list gets longer and longer very 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 fast and I find that when I'm depleted I try to look even deeper into what is working and what I'm grateful for because the more I look the better I feel after the meditation it's the deep breath it's focusing on the now really right now right now right now the Fear is making us hyper nervous, the unknown, and it's very normal to feel this way. And you know what? I am so grateful for technology that we can feel together in this. We're not isolated. We're not alone in a house not knowing what's going on. Technology connects us and we can share our worries. We can share our fears. We can share our frustrations. We can share our jokes. We can share our thoughts, our inspiration, our gratitude. We're so lucky that we have all the technology in place so we can feel together when we're in some kind of isolation. We decided the other day to leave to Florida. New York was getting a little bit out of hand when it came to the coronavirus. And I also decided that I wanted to be in a warm climate for myself, for my children. We can be indoors for a very long time. I mean, indoors with a big backyard that they can go run around without being with other kids. So we left to Florida yesterday and I'm actually not even set at like my computer is not set up properly. I am recording from my room in Florida. I told my kids that I need a few minutes to record, to do my attitude of gratitude. When I was putting my phone together because my computer is not set up and I'm going to be setting up an office here because I'm going to be here for at least six weeks, God willing, I realized that we're so lucky that everything is so easy to set up and to send a message out to the world, even when you're in some kind of travel. I want to share with you what my day is looking like and why gratitude is helping me. So I'm used to having my six hours a day of work time. And then at night I work a few hours after the kids go to sleep. And now I have all the five kids home. Everybody is with their remote calling in to school. The anxiety is really high with the, everybody needing to call in. And we had a family meeting and I told them, listen, we all have to step up to the plate. Right now it's crisis mode and we do the best we can with crisis mode. There is nothing 
nothing more important than kindness now. Nothing or ever, but now even more. We must be kind to each other. We must be gentle with each other. We must speak nicely to each other. And we must remember to be grateful. We must remember to be grateful. So I told them that I don't have my six hours that I usually have for myself. And I told them that I'm going to need their help to get little pockets of time for myself so I can be my best self that I could be for them as a parent. I feel like I'm their leader. I need to show up for them properly. And I, they are my priority. My kids are my priority now. Myself and my kids and my family, Ari, are my priority. And I have to show up properly. And I told them that every now and then I'm going to just need mommy time. And what I do in mommy time is meditation or a nap or journaling. Usually it's a gratitude practice because what I need now more than anything is to count my blessings and to reduce my stress through seeing how blessed we are because the bottom line is anything can change within a few minutes. We realized that if you think back a week ago, where you are now, no one would fathom that we would be where we are now a week ago. The lines to get into a store would be three blocks long, that you, it would be hard to find eggs or milk or water. No one would think that it would go so bad for so long, maybe the first day or two, but no one thought it would be like this and that and now the schools are going to be canceled for at least six to eight weeks. And it's there are certain states that you can't even leave after 8 p.m. You can't leave your house. But there are no restaurants, no um, gyms, all these things are just like it happens so fast and what I keep on telling myself is just like the stress came so fast so can the change for the positive and we don't know what will be and we have to be prepared and we have to be responsible and I am prepared and responsible but at the same time I have to remember that everything has a plan and just like it came fast it can also the storm can end we can find a vaccine we can find some pill that helps you can find a remedy who knows maybe we're gonna come up maybe it's my optimist thoughts that are taking me there but I, I truly believe nothing lasts forever and something is going to improve maybe it's the weather maybe uh, maybe it's really that people are staying inside and not going out and everything is going to just get back to normal and the the virus will die die out but i tell myself that we need to remember how lucky we are for what we do have and we had such a great life till now we had such freedom till now we had such strength and just like we got so used to everything coming so fast and easy to us that when life is slowing down right now we're not used to it but if we take a look back and see how grateful we are for what we had what we have now and how we are surviving and our strength our inner strength our support everything around us there's so much to be grateful for and the gratitude i posted a beautiful post today that the world needs our prayers let's use gratitude for that and i really believe that the gratitude will elevate the energy in the world and everybody needs more positive energy energy. Everyone needs more positive energy. So if you just take 30 seconds, 30 seconds, close your eyes, take a deep breath in, two deep breaths, breaths in and breaths out and just count your blessings whatever it is in that moment i am so grateful for my daughter javi she is managing this homeschooling i was so overwhelmed i was getting six to eight emails and whatsapps and messages about calling in times what times these print this out for your child print that out for your child and i was like i I, my brain went to shut down i could not deal and i'm like okay we're not doing this homeschooling thing from remote i'm not we're not set up for this whatever will be will be we're going to do one at a time when we can. Again, I went back to basics. The most important thing is to be stress-free, more smiles, more love. If we can get one or two classes in, that's great. But Javi is helping me organize and she, she's making these charts who should be when to see if we can actually connect with the teachers online. And if not, that's fine. That's fine. But I'm so grateful for her because she really saw how stressed I was getting with all these emails and messages it's like mommy i'm gonna do it i had tears in my eyes that i was like god thank you for giving me javi that she's so good with these things she's so tech savvy she's so organized she's she loves these things and she's able to just take this off my plate and i'm like okay i'm done this is not going to be my job and i'm grateful that i that I was able to get on a plane within no no notice to just get back to florida get down to florida i was grateful that the flight was empty and we 
weren't worried about a packed flight with all the germs. I'm, I'm grateful that my kids are used to Ari wiping down everything on the airplane and they're, they're used to not touching anything and to be very careful with germs. I'm grateful that they're such good helpers and they do everything with a smile and with enthusiasm. And, and I'm grateful that I have the emotional stability that I built myself up for times like this, that when I do see that I'm depleted, I know where to go for my toolbox. I know what I need. If it's time out, if it's a coffee, if it's a walk, if it's exercise, if it's closing my eyes and just counting my blessings, if it's calling my mom, there's I have my toolkit and the number one thing that's in my toolkit for me is gratitude. Let's use gratitude in these this very, very important time in our life that we will remember forever and ever. Our kids will remember our, it's going to go down in history. This time will go down in history. Let's try to elevate the energy in the world and just know you're, you're locked up in the house. You can elevate the energy in the world. If you do gratitude, you are giving, you are actually giving to yourself and to the world when you are practicing gratitude. So please let's do this together. Let's share this message share this message that gratitude really elevates the energy in the world and it brings us more good. We need good. We need to focus on the good and we need to stay positive in order to get through this. Stress can be worse than any virus. Stress, stress. If we go into numbers, look at how many people die from anxiety, from depression and anxiety. How many people are depleted because of it? How many, how many, God forbid suicides go on because mental health is such a crisis. So let's focus on getting healthy emotionally and physically and staying healthy. And we'll do that with gratitude practices. I was supposed to interview Robert Emmons today. We had a call and we were planning this for months, 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 months. And he emailed me last minute. He's like, I'm so sorry that I had to to cancel. Robert Emmons is the, the number one person that teaches gratitude in the world. He is a professor and he researched gratitude for many, 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 many years. He wrote many books about it and I was supposed to interview him today. And he said, listen, I needed to go pick up my son from college. I need to stay, he needs to stay safe. So we're going to rebook for when everything calms down. And he said, just continue practicing gratitude. And it was such a gift from God for me that today, Today out of all days was my my scheduling gratitude interview with Robert Emmons. And even just seeing it in my calendar gave me such a good feeling. And everything is by design. Everything by design. Everything is meant to be at the right time. Everything. So right now is the right time for us now to go through this. So let's deep dive into gratitude. Let's put on our gratitude outfit. And it's okay to be stressed. And it's okay sometimes to cry. And it's okay to worry because it wouldn't be human not to. But when we use our gratitude, it's like taking a vitamin. It's a it's a booster to our energy. So let's practice gratitude together. And by the way, I just want to say something. Our sponsor, Better Health. I think I, I was I was telling somebody that I was working with that more than ever I'm thinking about how awesome is it that we have better help an online service for therapy when people can't go out to get therapy now and it they depend on it and not everybody is set up for calls remotely betterhelp.com you can get a therapist that deals with anxiety deals with agoraphobia deals with stress with trauma with PTSD they have thousands of therapists thousands you can find your therapist that will work with you with whatever is going on right now. And you can also sign up only for a month for now until you get through this crisis. So this is not a pitch for us, really not a pitch for us because I don't get anything for it. But I'm telling you that if you need therapy, there are so many platforms, not only BetterHelp, but there are other platforms online like BetterHelp that you can access your therapist. You can text them. You can do a phone conference. You can do a Zoom a Zoom call. So many ways to um, help yourself through this challenging time. So if, if you look Looking for a therapist, go to betterhelp.com, betterhelp.com forward slash hope to recharge. I think the link will be in the comments and they're giving a 10% off discount on your first month. You could try them out, try them out for this month, maybe when there's so much going on and we need somebody to talk to. We're living in the best time in technology. Use it to get strength, to get stronger, to get to wellness. I am sending you the biggest hug, the biggest high five 
the biggest warm energy that I could send you and say together, hopefully with God's help, we will get through this and we can look back and be grateful how we got through it. I love you all. I am grateful for all of you. I can't wait to have an attitude of gratitude looking back. You know how I always look back and see what we are grateful for through challenging times and I can't wait to get there. Take care. Remember to be grateful. Thank you for joining us and taking the time to listen. I really appreciate it. Please hit the subscribe button so you can hear further episodes. If you are listening to us on iTunes, please leave feedback and ratings below. Let us know if there's any topic that you would like to hear from us in the future. Bye till next time.